very good morning to you dear students welcome back to our next online lecture on current electricity dear students before i start with my video today again i am reminding you all your portion for science 1 is chapter number 1 and chapter number 2 in detail everything with paper pattern i have already explained you all dear students as i have said you all you will have 10 marks science part 1 and 10 marks science part 2 test for unit test dear students you have to study objective types of questions along with laws definitions and short answers from behind your textbook like give reasons do not practice more on derivations because derivations are going to be asked in semester exam so for unit test you will learn all short answers give reasons practice more of fill in the blanks within the textbook definitions and laws numerical like sums are going to come only from chapter number 1 so practice all the sums from chapter number 1 which is laws of motion i hope this all information is clear with you all still if you have any doubt you can ask me any at time dear students your paper is good let's begin now with our video today in this video we are going to study about resistance as we have previously studied about what is ohm's law definition of ohm's law and resistivity today we will study about resistance as well as electric circuit how does an electric circuit works how current flows in an electric circuit as well as we are going to see some symbols in our electric circuit so let's move towards the board and start with our video electrons are in a straight line direction okay first they are in the random motion but the next the free electrons are moving in a straight line direction so this is a straight line direction when they are moving but when they are moving there, there is a movement here and when this electron is moving from here and goes and collide with this electron collide means it goes and dash the electron this electron will go and collide this one that this electron will collide this one this will collide the next the next and then from here this will collide the this so in this way what happens when there is a collision here in this way they are moving like this what happens the current starts flowing in that circuit okay now when this has a dash like when they are moving around this flow of things which are there around this is called resistance what it is called resistance when they are moving around they are carrying charge they are carrying current with it okay and this current this charge is called the resistance this movement along with the charge which is carried so open your textbook on page number 34 okay there is a little introduction there resistance and resistivity of a conductor now what are conductors again i'm explaining the material which carries the current is called conductor now very short paragraph they have explained this as i said y'all they have a lot of 
high potential when the current starts when the current is applied they start moving in one direction and these uh, electrons are having high potential and when they are moving they get collided that whole thing is been explained in this particular paragraph so see there as shown in the figure 3.4 which is this collision uh, figure there are large number of free electrons in a conductor they are constant constantly in a random motion first they are in random motion as i gave you the example of your uh, games period okay when lakshmi kant sir is not there that time how you all react you all are moving anyhow randomly but as the sir comes then everyone is standing straight in a uh, line and then uh, on the ground also you all are in discipline correct okay? so same example over here so when a potential difference is applied between the two ends of the conductor this electron starts moving from one end at a lower potential to the end at a higher potential so as i said you all also before that whenever the current is applied to any kind of a free electrons or any object it starts moving from a lower potential towards the higher potential over here when they are moving in a free electron this direction directional motion of an electron causes the flow of current what mark this point this directional motion of an electron causes the flow of current uh, of current so these are directionally they are moving they are moving in one particular direction okay so that's why i showed you all the arrows there so when they are moving in this one particular direction they are moving around in a particular direction and this direction causes what they causes a current to flow in the particular circuit okay now we are going to study about circuit also so moving electron strikes the atoms and ions while lying along their path such collision mark the word collision now you know what is the meaning of collision when one atom or one electron get dashed or they they go and uh, what they beat okay that beating the dashing is called collision okay they come and dash like this so so for the moving electron strikes the atoms and and ions which lies along their path such collision cause hindrance now what is hindrance hindrance is when that collision is there okay and there is a, a a pressure applied and the the hindrance causes a pro, the process to go further correct so process here is to uh, to generate current so that is the hindrance over here so moving electron strikes the atoms and the ions while lying along their path such collision causes hindrance and to flow the electrons and opposes the current this hindrance is called as the resistance so they are opposing the current also and simultaneously they are creating what resistance what what are they are going to create here is resistance due to the hindrance which is caused over there so that is the meaning of what we say is resistance now according to the resistance we have resistivity also like we have learnt about ohm's law in our previous uh, lecture okay so according to the ohm's law we have learnt what is the derivation of ohm's law now today we are going to learn about what is resistivity of a conductor now we came to know how resistance is uh, uh, is created in a free electrons okay due to the hindrance of the a current which is there and it opposes that that process is called the resistance okay now what is resistivity at a given temperature now what is included here there the temperature is included the resistance r how it is denoted now side by side i am writing here so that you come to know also what are the terms which are used in this particular definition so resistance is uh, denoted by capital r okay of a conductor depends on its length so what we are talking here about is length which is capital l area of a cross section so area of a cross section which is always denoted by capital a and the material it is made up of so whatever material it is made up of like iron or we can say copper whatever material it is made up of that is included 
So let us uh, now see what is resistance or resistivity. Now resistivity at a given temperature, the resistance, resistance R of a conductor depends on its what? What does it depends? So this resistance is depending on the length as well as the area of the cross section. So how much is the length of that particular object? How much is the area of that particular object? So that much will be its resistance. Got it? And uh, like we come to know how much and what kind of material it is made up of also. Okay, very important what kind of material. So again I am explaining here the resistivity. Resistivity, the resistance depends upon what? Two, uh, three types of thing. First is the length of the given uh, uh, material or length of a given object. The second is the area of the cross section which is denoted by A. And the third thing is what kind of material it is made up of. Which material it is made up of. Then we can calculate its resistivity. Got it? So again I am repeating. At a given temperature. So even temperature is counted here. The resistance R of a conductor depends on its length, area of cross section and the material it is made up of. So further, what is the, what we can say the equation of resistivity? Let us see. If the resistance of a conductor is R, then we say R is directly proportional to length. R is directly proportional to length. See here, this sign says that it is directly proportional. This 1 upon A says it is inversely proportional. Keep that in your mind. So, a resistance R is directly proportional to L. Also, R is inversely proportional to A. A stands for area of a cross section. Therefore, we can say that, uh, that resistance R is directly proportional to length and inversely proportional to area of a cross section. Where to remove this uh, sign of direct variation or uh, inverse variation, we will put P. P as what is the constant of proportionality. Therefore, R resistance is equal to P L upon A. What it is? R resistance is equal to P L upon A. Is this clear with everyone? Hope you all have understood this. Again, I am explaining your pay attention. So, what does the resistivity say? At a given temperature, the resistance R of a conductor depends on its length, area of a cross section and the material it is used or made up of. So, we will write further. If the resistance of a conductor is R, then we say resistance is directly proportional to length. Also, resistance is inversely proportional to 1 upon A, which is area of a cross section, inversely proportional. Therefore, resistance R is directly proportional to L and inversely proportional to area of a cross section where R is equal to P L upon A where P is the constant of proportionality. Let us see further what are the further definitions. So let us now look further what are the units of resistivity. The first point says the unit of resistivity in SI unit is Ohm's meter. What do we write here? Ohm's meter. So for SI unit, it is Ohm's meter. The next sentence says, Resistivity is a specific property of a material and different material have different, what? Resistivity. So all the material will have similar resistivity is not possible. That's not true. Okay. So each and every material has its own temperature as well as has its own resistivity also. So according to, for an example, like copper has its resistivity as 1.7 into 10 raised to minus 8 ohms meter. So that is its resistivity. Okay, like for an example, in your textbook it is given very clearly. Like diamond has its resistivity 1.6 to learning about electricity. We should know how does a circuit look like and what are the symbols and things which are represented in the circuit. Now before we start with our journey towards our circuit and learn about our circuit, let us go through the definition first and then learn about circuit and what are the symbols which are represented in this particular circuit. Okay, so what does the definition of uh, the electric circuit says as a continuous path. What is the path? How is the path? Path is continuously flowing there. 
so the current can continuously flow so that's why that word continuous is used a continuous path of an electric current through conducting wires is connected to two ends of a cell which are the two ends of the cell one is this end the other is this end this is a particular electric cell okay which has a positive as well as a negative charge okay dear students so of a cell and other resistance is called an electric circuit what it is called as an electric circuit again i am repeating the definition a continuous path of an electric current through conducting wires connected to the two ends of a cell and other resistance is called an electric circuit let us see how does our electric circuit look like and what are the things which are uh, in our electric circuit now you can see here one particular box is there now here what is connected the two terminals of the battery we say as so two ends of the battery so towards the one end is a positive and towards the second end is our negative the uh, the thing starts from here from the positive the current is moving from here it goes and come over here again what charges are here look here there's a positive charge as a negative charge now this is a device amp meter we have already studied about amp meter now what is the amp meter is a device in which we measure the current here so this amp meter is connected in series now what do we mean by a word series and connection that we are going to study in our next video and next topic resistance in series and resistance in parallel both the things we are going to study so over here amp meter okay which is the device over here which is connected to the circuit then moves towards resistance this part is called resistance which is always a zigzag like this okay this zigzag means it stabilizes the current to move from here and then it moves upward again here positive and a negative charge is there and here voltmeter v is there your amp meter a is there okay voltmeter is in a parallel with the resistance it is parallel it is connected in parallel as i said your resistance in series and parallel two things are the concept which we are going to study in our next video so this is the resistance which is r okay and then again the current moves downwards and starts flowing from here again it goes from here starts moving towards the negative terminal again moves to the positive terminal and keeps on flowing in a circuit again move goes to the amp meter okay amplimeter or uh, uh, connected in series then again goes to voltmeter okay again uh, gets stabilized with the resistance resistance and then again starts moving in a circuit so one thing you have to remember dear students is the positive and the negative charges where it is and the arrows when you all are putting so always see that it moves from here okay the arrows are moving particularly the if you mark the arrows in an opposite then your circuit is wrong consider uh, totally wrong so whenever you are uh, uh, you are drawing your circuit diagram make it very sure from where do you uh, pass your uh, what we say the arrows from which uh, terminal you are taking your charge and passing your arrows is that clear with everyone so now the next topic which we are going to see is the symbols so dear students now let us move towards our next topic which is called as an electric symbols now on the board you all have seen how does an electric circuit works and the diagram of electric circuit now in that diagram always we don't write down the name of that particular device like bulb or we can say amp meter we are using symbols over there so now let's go through all the electrical symbols which is also present in your textbook and we will study what is the important symbol as well as what are their different uses in an electric circuit so one by one all important symbols we are going to study so let's start
if we look here this electric circuit the first symbol which we are going to study is a single cell look there the positive charge and the negative charge the positive line is always a bigger one and the negative line is smaller next is two cells see again how does a two cells look then is a electric bulb see there how an electric bulb is drawn dear students look at the symbol of electric bulb how it is drawn in a circuit our next symbol is connecting wire now connecting wire is always a straight line okay so that's called as a connecting wire now the main use of this connecting wire is that it passes current from the circuit next is open switch now we will come to know how, what is the more importance of the open switch and closed switch further we have a device called amp meter okay dear students amp meter again i am saying here is a device which calculate the current then we have resistance and we have a voltmeter again a voltmeter is a very important device again to measure the current in our circuit resistance in detail we will study in our next topic where we are going to study what are conductors and resistance in parallel as well as in series that a very important topic we are going to do in our next video now look at this electric circuit dear students see how does a current is flowing in an electric circuit that we will see in this particular diagram already this topic i have taught you all on the board but with the help of the diagram here we will study more better the electric cell looks in this way and the symbol of this electric cell is over here we have a bigger line with the positive and smaller line with negative then we have an electric bulb as i have shown you the symbol of electric bulb see there how does an electric bulb look like when it is connected in a series or we can say when it is connected in a circuit how we draw a circuit diagram always we don't draw a bulb and a wire and a battery we show them in the form of or we represent them in the form of symbols so the second diagram here is showing a symbol representation of a of a electric circuit see the bulb then the battery attached as i have said here current starts moving from positive charge towards a negative charge when the current is flowing what happens here is the bulb starts blowing see there the bulb blow this is called as a complete circuit when the complete circuit is there then only the current flows into the circuit and the bulb blow let's see when does a current flows in a circuit how what is the role of the key now we have seen there the open key and the close key which is the switch on what happens the current starts flowing when switch is off the current does not flow that is the symbol where it represents with open key as well as a close key in a circuit see there dear students when the switch is off okay the key is where the current does not flow when the switch is off the current does not flow when the switch is on the current starts flowing in the circuit so dear students today we have learnt about a very important topic on electric current as well as we have learnt very important topic of electric circuit resistance resistivity as well as we have drawn a derivation of resistivity also we have learnt very important definitions dear students regularly go through all these definitions and start studying for your unit test exam 
have a good day god bless you all thank you